Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with another Making Ephemera video. Um, yesterday, I kind of started on a couple of little pieces uh, that were using some things from Happy Mail. So I'm gonna quick finish those up. And then I have a few more pieces that I've pulled out of my idea books. And so we're just gonna recreate a little bit today. But first I wanna say hi and hugs to Angel, Zora May, Martha, and Wendy. Thank you so much for watching my videos and uh, for your kind comments and everything. Okay, so I'm gonna set this one aside. We're just gonna finish this little bag because it's gonna take two seconds. Um, I have gone ahead and inked around the two pieces of the collage paper and then the, the bag as well. So we're just gonna adhere these and um, I think I'm gonna leave it just as is without any focal point or without anything in the pockets. And then this will be one that we just see, see which journal it goes in and, and we can add to it at that point if we want to. So just gonna kind of give that a little bit of space at the top, but not too much if I can. And get it straight. And then we're just gonna go down there. All right. Um, this, this paper again was from Amber, the Happy Mail from Amber. And I think that would have aired yesterday, that video. Um, and She's, I, I, she doesn't have an Etsy shop that she told me about, so I think she just kind of made this paper for her own use and to share with friend. Okay, so we've just covered the back and the what would be the bottom of the sack if we were to use it as a sack. And what I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of art glitter glue on Maybe, <laughs> there we go, wow, okay. Um, on, the, on the little inside flaps here. And then that way, this becomes a pocket right here. Okay, and we'll just hold that down. And that one's done, simple, simple. I've, um, I think I've done those, I've done those before and you've seen those. So then when you put it like on your page, you can um, go here and you'll have, you know, the inside of the bag plus the back. I, I like to a lot of times glue here and then put something in the side. And often I'll kind of put it over to the side of the page and then um, use just like an index card with lace on it and pop it in there. So that little piece is done. Thank you, Amber, for this wonderful, wonderful paper that you that you shared with me. Okay, and then this was the other one from yesterday. It's just a little tablet. She did a little uh, stamping on the papers, which I haven't done, so maybe we want to do that. Um, I grabbed out just a piece of scrap Tim Holtz paper here. And then um, my, my little pages were a bit too short. Like if I had folded them in half, they would have only been here. So I just staggered them so that they would be the whole length of the, of the page. How about, maybe we just stamp on this one. I might do that. I have to show you if I see where I put it here. Yep, haven't used it yet, so excited. But I uh, I ordered one of the stamp sets from Aosia, and she is on Etsy. I'll try and remember to link her. And of course, I needed it because it has a bunny. But I love Aosia's work anyway. So I am thinking, what if we just do the B? Because I'm just I'm itching to break in the stamp set. You know, can't have it all pristine and clean for very long. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, it's always so interesting to get them off 
the very first time. Let's see. I think I have I have a little plate here that I'm just going to put them on. Just okay, and then and then I'll just put him right there. That'd be fun. Okay, do I want black? I think I'm going to use this potting soil. I think I'll use that. I think it's so cool that she's done stamps. I have no idea how that works. You know, how you turn your art into, <laughs> into a product like that. Um, my pal Carrie Griffiths, if you haven't watched his channel he um and on facebook he's been posting he got some sort of a machine that is cutting stencils and he's making the most interesting stencils and i told him i want them <laughs> so if he could figure out how to get those manufactured that'd be great so um yeah i just don't know how that works how you take your art and then make it into a product like that no idea doesn't matter for me because I'm not I'm not that kind of an artist anyways my um, my digitals <laughs> like my collage digital and stuff that's about that's about where I get to I don't know Okay, well, yay, those are broken in. That's real fun. I'm just going to stick those in my stamps over there. Okay, so we have our paper pad ready. And I'm not sure how uh, how she did this one. But what I want to do, I think, is use my Tim Holtz tiny attacher and just put some staples across like so to hold the paper okay and then um and then we'll get this put in here in a second but first let's decorate the front so um she had done a little bit of collage which i love this tim holtz but i still think i'd like to do a bit of collage and then i grabbed i have this um just this piece of burlap Hers is a little different. Hers is the, um, like the floral ribbon. See, like it's got the thing down the side. I just pull those out because they're pokey. Um, so I have that. I have a Tim Holtz butterfly. So, but let's, let's do a little bit of collage on there. Just, just for fun. Um, we'll kind of emulate her design a bit get my scraps over here let's see looks like I have a looks like I have a music that I could put right there huh so we'll just tear that this is a crunchy one it's um it's coffee dyed so it's pretty crunchy pretty crunchy it's just I was so excited to come down here and do this today um, I feel like I've been, I've been doing so many happy mail videos that I haven't been able to craft. <laughs> and so I'm excited to get to it here. Um, I did go ahead and ink the inside and outside of this with vintage photo too, because, um, I figured I could do that off camera and you wouldn't care. You'd probably be you'd probably be glad. So, yes. So I think I'll put that across there. And then I might put something down the side a little bit and call that, call that good as far as the collaging on the front because I really do like the paper. So... But a little something is kind of fun. Alrighty then. Then something down the side. Ooh, how about this, maybe? Kind of like that paper. I 
makes it a little bit um, gives it a little bit of a fallish look, doesn't it? Okay, so if we put that kind of like that, okay, like that, go with that. I didn't ink around it, but that's okay because it's kind of a, kind of like that. Okay. Ew. <laughs> I'm gluey already, of course. Okay, so then let's prepare our little burlap. Let's see, I think I can get rid of my scraps now. Put them back over here so they're out of our way. Okay, so I want this to be a bit straighter. So I'm just going to go like that. But I'll keep this piece for layering at some point. Um... Let's see. Okay. I am going to ink up this butterfly a bit. Get rid of a little of that white edge. There we go. And see so did I have that like that I did so I think I'm going to put that more toward the bottom because I would like this part of the paper to show so we'll go ahead and put that on now well, I'm thinking I as far as picking which glue to use I think I want Fabri-Tac even though there go the nails <laughs> Maybe not, if I can be careful. We'll see. So excited. Tomorrow we're going to go to Bozeman. My granddaughter has her, it's like her senior night for volleyball, except that she's an eighth grader. <laughs> um, but they do a little ceremony and stuff where we can go out on the floor with her and her parents and and Mike and I. So that'll be fun. Yeah, and then we'll put that there. And again, I'm going to use this. Whew, I have my diffuser going and all of a sudden I'm... I'm getting more focus than I can handle here. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> She's strong. Maybe I got more than three drops in there. <laughs> Not that I couldn't use all the focus I can get. I can I can use all the focus I can get. Okay, cool. All right, now let's get this on here. Oh my gosh, it's making me cough. <laughs> now she sewed around hers, and um, so I have to decide, do I want to? <coughs> oh gosh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, or did she sew around it? She did not sew around it. It's just like a little, she drew a line. Okay, we can do that. We could do that. Come on, little butterfly. Stick to the, let's see, pen. Maybe this one. Okay, this pen is a foray Rolly, Rolly? Ro roller bar. R roller ball. I'm doing two lines because I'm making them messy. Okay. Yep. 
Isn't it funny? I totally thought that was sewn, but it wasn't. Just messy, messy lines. I like how it outlines it though. It's good. Okay. Did that. Now, now we need to do the inside. So, just a little ribbon and a li little uh, fringy stuff. What would we like to use? What do we have in our little bag of tricks here? I don't know if I have anything fringy. I'm looking, I'm looking up above. I'm not really seeing anything fringy. And the whole ribbon thing. I don't have ribbon over here. Well, I do, but it's the wrong color. Hmm. Things grabbing me that I want to use here. Look in my, look in my scraps. Ooh, I like that. That's really neutral. I do like that. I'm not seeing anything fringy, but it doesn't have to be exactly right because we're just using it for inspiration. But I do like this. This is an edge. Ooh, I like that even better. It shows the stitching. Um, it's just an edge of a, uh, like a table runner or something. I knew I'd use it for something. Okay, so I'm just thinking, do I want anything else on there? Ooh, look at this teeny piece of lace. Yep. Yep. Okay. Got it. How are how is the camera, you guys? Are you able to see fairly decently? Maybe I'll go in one more. It makes my it makes my mat away from me like about six inches <laughs> so I kind of have to reach to do anything but that's okay I want you to be able to see and sometimes on these little pieces of ephemera it's more difficult to see so okay we're just gonna put that at the top like so, and then I'm just going to run a bead and we'll put this little lace on it. I've already decided that the fingernails are going to need the redo. <laughs> Let's see. I think we'll go this side up. Cool. Ooh, yeah, that's going to do it. And then um, I'm going to put glue along here and we're just going to glue it in and bada bing, bada boom, it's going to be done. Okay. All righty. Well, we did that. We did it a little differently, but we did it. Okay, and then that flips over here. This flips over here. And there we go. There's our two little tablets. Now, she used um, packaging, I think, to make this, which is a great idea. That's a great idea. I used a little leftover Timmy. Okay, I need you to stay there. Let's go. Let's, I'm going to put it over here to dry. Okay, so we did that one. Now, the next one, I want to try and make a little bit fallish for my fall um, journals. I'm going to make two of them. 
but this is like a, a little, just a coffee filter that has been folded and made into a pocket. And then there's um, an altered playing card and just a little tag in there. So, but I'd kind of like to see if I can't do this a little. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to say about this, um, someone asked in a recent video, what do you mean by layering? What's layering? And that was in regard to my my fabrics and that I have handy here for layering. And she was like, I don't get it. So um, this is layering. See how these fabrics are are behind? And so there's this layer, this layer, this layer, you know, this layer. So that's that's what we mean by layering anyway. All right, so let's make those pockets and then we'll maybe we'll maybe do a, a similar, maybe we can do something similar with a playing card. Okay, so um, these are some wonderful coffee dyed filters that I got in Happy Mail. And so we're gonna use them because I think they feel, they feel fallish. So, I'm going to pull them in from either side just to where they about touch. And I'm going to fold that like so. And then we're going to bring this up. About to there. I mean, you don't need to measure. I can tell you about where this is. This is going to be approximately five inches tall. So that's how easy it is just to fold it, okay? So we'll do the other one and then we'll, let's see, how do I wanna do this? Oh, it says 12 cups right there. That's kind of cool. But I think I'll do this so that it's, <laughs> it's cool, but I, I don't necessarily want it on my pocket. So we're just gonna do this. And then we're going to go up. Okay, that I did not do well. Kind of, kind of went sideways on that. So our neighbors have, have a roofing company over there. They are getting a new roof. They have to take the snow off the roof. <laughs> before they can re-roof it. I'd, I'd be so nervous that it was going to snow again or something. And, um, you know, but yeah, so there we go. All right. So then it's just, um, looks like she's glued down these inner ones just so that but you don't have to, and you can make that actually a double pocket. Because if you just did these, you could put something back here and something in the pocket. What do I want to do? I'll do it the way she did it. Just How about I do one one way and one the other way? So I'm just going to put a little glue on there. A little glue on this one, like so. Now those are down, and then we'll make the pocket here. Okay. Um, I think I one thing I was going to say about these coffee filters is they were coffee dyed, and then I and then um, they were pressed they were, you know, ironed because they're super flat. No ridges or anything, you know, like it's on the, on the outer edge. Okay. This one, we're not going to do those. We're just going to just do the front flap. And then that gives you space in here and space in here. So I kind of like that too. Alrighty then did that. That's good. Okay, so now we want to layer. So let's get out our layering fabrics and decide what we might want to do. 
I just got this yesterday. I just added this to to my little bit. Um, we had girlfriends birthdays for August yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we're a little behind. Um, but um, yeah, I got uh, this was I think this was an old curtain. So this was on the bottom. And then this was the curtain part. Yeah. But so good for layering. Um, or we could use a little of this. Would be nice too. Okay, I think what I need to do is decide what I'm going to put on these. And I think what I'm going to do is grab my um, little bags of embellishments from the two kits I'm using. So one is Tracy Fox, Love Junk Journals. One is Artie Mays. And those are the two journals that I'm kind of working on. Haven't gotten much done on them. I'm telling you, there's just not enough hours in the day. I am I mean, I really am serious about that. <laughs> it's just... Oh, you know what I'm wondering... I don't like it. What about one of the circles? So this is the Tracy one. Um, we could layer one of the circles on there. And then put something on the side, like put some Timmy Holtz people or something. That could be cute. Here's a bug. Tracy and her bugs. <laughs> One of her kits, I said, I love the kit, Tracy, but I don't like the bug. <laughs> She's like, sorry. <laughs> Deal with it, Gail. <laughs> that's, that's what she should have said. She didn't, but she should have. So is that bigger? That is bigger. So I do kind of like that. I think I'm going to go with the bug. Tracy, I'm going with the bug. Okay. And then for this one, for Artie Mays, I love this one. I love that one so much. Okay, I think that's what we're going to use. I'm just going to set those up here in case we need them again. Okay, how about we get a little inkage on the edges. could ink this a little bit on the edge too, the coffee filter, but I don't know that it needs it. And then we'll put this one over here just for the fun of it. So what she did is she made a cluster, see, because it's um, stapled and then glued that on there. Okay, so maybe we need to think about some Tim Holtz people. You guys, I still haven't sorted my Tim, Tim Holtz people by size. Why can I just not get to that? Too much, too many other things to do, I guess. But um. It's not too bad. It's a little bit too small, I think. Hmm. little guy he's got gloves on like like I have to take care of that bug and so I'm gonna have my gloves on <laughs> oh goodness just looking through there's you know what this one 
That one reminds me so much of my grandpa, my mom's dad. Here it is. Here he is in bigger form. Totally reminds me of him. Okay, well, ooh, look at that cute little girl. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where'd you go, little girl? Oh, she's on the edge of a bunch of boys. Okay, well, let's just go with what we grabbed there. Unless this little girl, I love her too. She's a bit small. Yep, definitely need to get those sorted. <laughs> you guys get so tired of me saying the same thing over and over. Like every video. I really need to do that. Gosh, I need to do that. Really should find time to do that. And then I just don't because I don't know. If I could be in my craft room, have enough energy to do it 24 hours a day, wouldn't that be great? Okay, we got to find some lace and I don't know. Oops. Excuse me while I just have things falling on my head here. Okay, I have this thing of lace and I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything in there. Maybe this one would be okay yeah I don't care if it's got beads on it like hers it doesn't matter where's my little scissors okay kind of go there on that one um and of course his little feet will be over the top. Like that. Okay, so underneath of him, since he's a boy, I don't think I want lace. I'm gonna just, excuse my arm. Trim off a tiny bit of that. I'm keeping that little tidbit. It's like, oh my gosh, the things I keep. Okay, so that, this goes that way. That will go on the bottom, and then that little guy go right there, and maybe a little piece of that down the side. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try and pick that up and staple it. I'm gonna go right in his armpit. Because you know how I like to strategically place my staples. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this on first. Here, I wasn't going to use Fabri-Tac because of my fingernails, and that's all I'm using. It's just good stuff. What can I say? Okay, so there's that. Put that little bit down. What did I do with him? Oh, there he is. <laughs> he blended in. Okay, so then I'm going to put that there. Okay, we'll just... bunch of fabric tack under that and around and then there and 
and then on top of this. See how that does. Okay. There's writing on the the bug piece that I'm trying to make sure is straight. But then I want my little dude to be straight too, so <laughs> I might have to split the difference. Okay, close enough. Okay. Then do I want this little piece of that down here or something else? That's fine, but I feel like it needs something under it, so where's my cloth. But if I gather that up right there, put that right there, yeah, that'll be fine. sure how to do this lace down but we're just gonna go for it and there we go okay well I'm just gonna press that down a little bit so I said I don't know if I need to ink it but I feel like I do. You guys knew that was going to happen, didn't ya? Particularly that side needed a little something. Okay, maybe. Okay. Okay. So there's the original. There's the one we made. We're gonna do some stuff for the inside too. So there's Tracy's. Let's do Artie Mays here. Okay, and what do I want on the bottom? Ooh, I see something that might be nice in my snippet jar. Of course it's at the very bottom. <laughs> That's, I don't know. I don't know if it's Murphy's Law. It's somebody's law. Oh yeah. I put these ones down, didn't I? Okay. So let me see if I can get to that. Just some I'm wondering if that would be fun across there. Yeah, I think so, just for fun. Okay. Let's put that down. Um, and what are we going to use for our backing on this one? Or, or layering, I guess you would say. Okay, that's good. Um, hmm, 
okay. Well, might get a little lace on this one. What would that be like? It's already torn, kind of. going to be Ooh, I like that. Okay. Um Once again, we're going to staple in his armpit. Let's go his armpit, not her armpit. Make sure we're kind of straight. Sorry, I got that up to my face, so it's probably off camera. There we go. That is lumpy because of... Okay, that was what the deal was. Okay. Boy, I think if we put that on, I don't think it needs anything else. It doesn't need anything up the side, really. Okay, cool. All of a sudden, I'm having a hot moment. Not that you need to know that, but... Just sharing. <laughs> Whew. Okay. All right, that up there. Well, <coughs> excuse me. I have tickles today. I don't know what my deal is. Okay. Kind of try and center Joe and his wife. All right, that's fun, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me, goodness, goodness, goodness. Let me get a little sip of sunshine here. Have a little water and get that calmed down. Okay, so I like those. Okay, so now we've got the bases done, right? The pockets done. So let's let's get a couple of playing cards and do those and see if we can what we can do. Um, hold on, just a second. I'm gonna. Can't look. <clears throat> okay, so. All she's done on these is she's just glued on a um, cluster. If you're if you're talking to, um, she hasn't glued it. She stapled it right there. A cluster if you're talking to Jessica Rapp, or a snippet if you're talking to Sarah at Mushroom Market. <laughs> so it depends. Um, I have a bunch of those. Let's see if any of the ones that I have will work. Um, oh, yeah, to say I have a bunch of them is a slight understatement. Let's get rid of all our lace because we're done with that. Gotta, gotta make room for myself here a little bit. Okay, oh boy, I do have a bunch. Okay, so, but we kind of need them to, in some way, sort of coordinate with these a little bit, be fallish. Um, I love that one. That's a piece of my ephemera from my ephemera pack. Um, but let's see what we've got here. You know, some will be too big. And some just don't, some just don't go. Some don't go. Let's see. Um, 
that one's not bad there, is it? Needs a focal point, but we can do that. Um, these are, these ones are sewn, the, the one I grabbed, some of mine are sewn. Some of mine are glued, it just depends. That's an awesome one. I got that in Happy Mail. Isn't that fun? It's a bit big though. Um, 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 um. Let's see. For those two, I was looking at this one. This one's not too bad. It's a good size. Might have to just look through a little bit. Oh my gosh, I do have a lot of these made, don't I? Some of them are with fabrics too. But you know, it's a great way to use scraps for sure. Okay, well, we're just going to go with those two because I could be here all day going through these because there's a jillion of them. Am I going to be able to get them back in the sack now? Oh my goodness! Oh, that scared me. a million miles an hour oh that was a piece of paper i had up above my head on my shelf that fell down holy moly that scared me <laughs> oh gosh okay let's see what we have to make kind of a focal point oh <laughs> oh my goodness the back of the card you know I don't love the back of the card I think what I'm going to do is back those with um, coffee dyed paper to make a journaling card out of it Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay let's see do I have a piece of coffee dyed paper handy um, oh, this one maybe, yes, let's use a piece of this. Okay, we'll just use this. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's taken me a while to recover, isn't it? Well, it scared, scared the you-know-what right, right out of me. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Tell you what, you never know what's going to happen in this room, do you? Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, let's stick this one right down here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> I think my heart has resumed its normal beat. <laughs> Oh, okay, I can throw that away, that piece of paper, because it was about the Denver meet and greet, so don't need that anymore. That'd be kind of fun to have that red on there. Oh, wow. Okay, onward and upward with, with the altered playing cards. Okay, this is well beyond needing to be changed out. I need to have a day, I've said this too, I need to have a day where I just make a bunch of journal cards because <clears throat> getting quite getting quite full there of book pages. Okay, put that back. And I just didn't love the back. You could leave the back. Um, she did, with, it, but she had a pretty rose card. and I just grabbed one that I wasn't attached to. So Okay. I 
feel like this video is going long. I better check the time. Maybe it's just because I'm having heart palpitations. <laughs> That's cute. I like that on there. Okay. All right. Phew. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got 10 minutes. Okay. We're going to finish this at least. Okay. So we're going to put... This is our original. So we're going to put those on there. But I need focal points on those. I don't really want people necessarily so let's see see what we might have in here you want to do this so you guys can see too let's put our put our cards up there i'm thinking about one of these tickets like i'm thinking about that's kind of fun I think I like it up there. Okay, until we find something better, we'll go with that. All of this stuff is going to be sideways. I always do a butterfly. Ooh. I like this little. I, yep, I think that's what I'm going to do for that one. Well, that kind of happened in a quick hurry, didn't it? Okay, let's move those. Okay, I definitely want to distress the edges of that heart because they don't, it doesn't show super well. But if I distress the edges, it will pop out more. Even though this is fabric, that still works. Let's do the ticket while we're at it. Okay. It says Indiana ticket. Do we have any, any viewers from Indiana? Okay, so come here, Timmy. It's going to go along there. And then, then we're just going to go, I think I'll go here and here. And done. And you can write on the back. That's fun. Okay, so I think I want to go kind of sideways like with that. So, go here. And then, similarly, I'll go at the top and the bottom. And there we go. So we got those done. This was the, this was the original. This one's going to go with the lady and the gent. You know what? I need to staple that kind of at the bottom, too. I think. Just, I just think I need to. Otherwise, it's going to catch when we put it in the pocket. So, original, the one for the lady and gent. And this one's for the little boy. Okay, so that was in here. Super cute. This one goes with our little boy. Maybe. Way. This one goes with our couple. Okay. And then uh, she had a little decorative tag in there. But what I'm thinking of doing is I have this tag that I just got in Happy Mail. I'm thinking of using it right there. Okay, I like that. And then what do I want to do for you, little couple? Hmm. Could do that. But let's 
let's do this like we've done some of the other ones and put put a little snippet of lace and a word on there how about that um find a little snippet of lace that speaks to me I guess this one will work just put that on there and then a word a word that goes with these little people kind of um friends they look like more than friends to me. <laughs> Love. Ourselves. I like ourselves. They're just they're just hanging out on a pocket being themselves. I think I can do that. Sorry if I get out of camera. I'm trying to be close here for you guys. Okay, I'm just going to put that there for a second. We're going to um, put glue on these. There. I'm going to put that kind of straight, and then I'm going to put this sideways, partially just so it fits properly. Doesn't matter. It's a circle. Either way it goes, it's gonna fit. <laughs> oh, that came out of my mouth before I thought it through. <laughs> I'm gonna put it sideways because I like how it looks. <laughs> oh, Gail, what are we gonna do with you? Okay. And so that is gonna go in there. Oh, these are super cute. I'm really happy with these. Okay, so there's our original. Came out of my book, out of my idea book. Here's one we made for the Tracy Fox Journal. Here's one we made for the Artie Mays Journal. So fun. Okay, so, and then we also have our little booklets. And a little bag that can be used later. This little project will wait until next time we do ephemera. So thanks everybody so much for watching and for making these pieces with me. I'm so excited about how they came out. So I hope you have fun playing with them too. Thanks for watching. Have a grateful day and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.